In this video, I'll show you how to organize your databases with views. Notion databases are highly customizable, so they can be used for a variety of tasks, from running an editorial calendar for your blog or podcast, an archive of saved recipes, or a team task database like this one. Thanks to database views, each of these data sets can be visualized in different ways. In addition to this table view, this team task database can also be seen grouped by assignee or plotted on a calendar. Each view can be filtered or sorted however you like, so this lets you design custom views to meet specific needs. Let's say you have this list of recipes, but want to be able to quickly filter the list to only show vegetarian recipes. Click the Add a View button and give your new view a name. This new view will be created, which you can filter. To add a filter, Click the button at the top and choose the property you want to filter by. Vegetarian is checked. Now you'll be able to quickly toggle between your full list of recipes and just the vegetarian recipes. You can also access just the veggie recipes from your sidebar. Click the toggle to review all the different views of your database. Now, you don't have to refilter your database every time. You could also add a view to group the recipes by type. We recommend using more general databases for similar datasets, instead of using a bunch of similar, more specific databases. Here's what I mean by this. Rather than creating an appetizer recipe database, an entree recipe database, and a dessert recipe database, you can just use a single recipe database and add filtered views for each of those categories. This makes it much easier to keep everything up to date. To share a specific database view with someone in your workspace, click the Copy Link to View button. This will copy a URL to your clipboard that you can share via Slack message or email, or you can use it to create a link somewhere else in your Notion workspace, or paste it wherever you want. If you want to edit a view, simply go to the View menu and click the three-dot icon to the right. You'll have the option to rename or change the type of view. I hope this helps you keep your databases beautiful and organized.